Hello and welcome to our 40k battle report. Today, uh, my Space Marines, Primaris Force, are going to be taking on Angus's Sisters of Battles here at the Spiky Club. Uh, today we're going to be playing a uh, standard Maelstrom 3 card game and search and destroy deployment. So as you can see, uh, I won the roll off for deployment zone and chose the side with uh, the most objectives on it. Angus to place these and he uh, is going to be deploying first, deploying his sister. So we'll come back to you with the deployment. And here we have the deployment for the sisters. So Angus has put his three exorcist tanks uh, at the back of his deployment zone with his two vehicles and the uh, pension engines. Mortifiers up front, so this is a new unit he's trying out. A couple of squads around here near the objectives. Uh, so objective five over here, one here, three here, six there, two there, and uh, four at the back there. So in reply, I've spent a CP to put my repulsor and the eight-man squad in uh, outflank with the white scar stratagem. And I've put the two jump squads and the lieutenant in reserve as well. I've put one unit of infiltrators over here. I've got the executioners... Uh, sorry, eliminators back here with the uh, captain, the lieutenant and the apothecary. And over here, I've got two units of intercessors. I've got another unit of intercessors in the ruins here. And I've got the infiltrators and the captain, the boss captain over here. Uh, what I just need to do is check the ranges there and make sure you can't charge me through the runes. I can't touch you through the runes, but I can charge around the runes. Yeah, so, so if he gets lucky, we'll check the range and I may move these guys, so... So yeah, just looking here, I've spent another CP on outflank to put the other unit of five intercessors, so Angus, he can possibly get a charge if he rolls well in his advance and charge there, uh, but we'll do that just now. So at the moment, I'm guessing you want to take the first turn? Yeah, there's no disadvantage, so uh, yes, first turn. Okay, so I will see if I can seize the initiative. Let's use, let's use your dice. I think so. Oh, it might be mine then. So, can I seize the initiative? No, I do not. So I will be uh, going second. Angus will be taking first turn. Hopefully, I've hidden enough of my units you can't draw line of sight to anyone. Uh, and they're my good place to get the objective. So we'll come back to you with the cards drawn for Angus's turn one. In his first turn, Angus drew behind enemy lines, reclaimed the relic objective 3, which he's nowhere near, and secure objective 5, which he's currently sitting on. So if he can get first, he's probably not getting behind enemy lines. Um, I Maybe. Also, he was meant to roll some miracle dice. Oh, yep, yep. His so miracle dice on the sisters. A one. A one. And then, oh, sorry, one for a turn, which is a three. Eh, not brilliant. Not great to start with. So we'll see what Angus decides to do in his movement phase. So, movement phase, um, most of the vehicles moving and advancing up. This unit of walkers here advancing five inches. Uh, quickly moved into the shooting phase, there was no shooting because I've had managed to hide everything out of the line of sight. Uh, and combat, I think these guys, because they're in the crater, they're going to need an 11 inch charge on the intercessors and he's decided not to bother. Uh, so that would put them out of position. So at the end of his turn... I could fire at those at six strikes as a hole in the wall. There's a complete hole in that wall, so these guys could fire them. Oh, okay. It'd be, it'd be a whole two heavy bolters. Worth a shot. I think it's worth a uh, shot. Because they get to fire the heavy bolters as assault. So okay. this will be two sets of twin heavy bolters. Oh, actually, that's good to do some work. Uh, hitting you on fours. Yep. Uh, you have three up normally? Uh, yeah. So okay, I'm minus one. And then winning on threes. So uh, for a whole four wounds. Minus one? Minus one, yeah. Oh, wow! The killing it, session win one. So yeah, not bad, not bad shooting there. Uh, with no charges at the end of his turn, he will score secure objective five for one point. 
and he's going to hold on to behind enemy lines and reclaim the relic. So we'll come back to you with what the cards I draw for my first turn. My first turn, I draw secure four, secure two, and secure five. Four and two are quite near my deployment zone, so that's probably going to be an option. Uh, five is way over there in the enemy deployment zone, so I ain't going to be getting that. So I'll decide what I'm going to do for my movement phase. Okay, unit not moving back. Uh, the unit of interest here not moving. My suppressors moving up. The rest of the backfield units moving up to grab the objective. The uh, intercessors pretty much suiciding themselves up there for that objective. And then this unit moving out to try and do some damage over here. Possibly shutting down some shooting, maybe, from the squad here. So we're going into the shooting phase. We're Right, we're going to start off with the Eliminators firing. Two of them can see this guy. Oh, sorry, can hit this guy back here with their outline of sight shots. Um, one will fire, I guess, at this squad here. Because he's not in range of anyone, so one's going to fire at them. So that's two shooting in at the image of fire with plus two in it. So hitting on twos, even though I moved. Wind, straight, toughness five, so winding on threes. If you roll on the one because of the left end there, that is one wound at minus two. Which you ignore? Are you sure it's minus two? Actually, it doesn't matter, we ignore it regardless. Yeah. What's heavy? Because I just attacked uh, the yeah. assault gun. Uh, yeah, so we go ignore that. So three up. And we're good. Yeah. And we're good. Yeah. Uh, and then one into the uh, mortifiers. Hits. Wounds. Uh, minus two. Minus so two. The, uh, unless I take on the anchorite. I will take on the anchorite, so it's a five up. Uh, we're good. <laughs> he saves it. This is going to be a quick game at this rolls. So we'll do the rest of the shooting and come back to you with what I do. Rest of my shooting, not doing much. Unfortunately, the captain fired his um, marksman bolt carbine into the character here, but he made his armor save. The um, sisters getting to ignore AP minus one and AP minus two, thanks to him. So I think I've brought a wet paper towel to a gunfight in this army, seeing as most of the army's off the board at the moment. Um, Rest of the firepower, putting three wounds on these guys, but not really doing enough there to hurt them. Uh, some more firepower over here, not really doing anything. So at the end of that, we will attempt a charge, I think, over here. So we'll measure up the charges and then roll to see if I can get in there. So the infiltrators are going to charge the Diologus. Uh, image of fire. I'll get right one of these sons. Image of fire. I'm going to spend one CP taking me down to seven on the three d six charge with them, but I do need a nine to get in. Uh, so I'm charging the squad in the ruins and the character there, hoping to do some damage there and get first strike, maybe. Uh, so I need a nine. And I get a nine. I can choose the two, so that is a nine. I will be able to move them in and I'll come back to you. I'll move them in and I'll try and charge the captain in as well, who probably needs a bit more. Okay, so made the charge, did my piling moves, managed to tag both exorcists uh, to stop them from firing next turn, hopefully. But I'll be getting uh, 16 attacks on charge. Hitting on threes. <laughs> That's not too shabby. I'm wounding on threes. Although I might struggle to kill you with this. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine wounds on him. You've got four. Odds are I'm not killing you. Nine. So I'm going to roll eight dice. So. Uh, we are already dead. Wow. Yeah, we'll see people here. Oh, shame. So I was going to use Miracle Dice to guarantee the last wound. Okay. Uh, that is unexpected. That gives me first strike. Yep. So, uh, so I gained a Miracle Dice as one of my characters. Yes. For a three. Three. Which I'm, I'm re roll. Okay. To a six. For a six. That's pretty good. Uh, and I will pile in to these two. So you will get your attacks back with them. The two exorcists. Oh, I'll roll them both at the same time. So we pick up sixes. One. One wound. One wound. 
Dead. Okay, I've done a five. So at the end of my turn, that will give me first strike, secure objective four, and secure objective two, and I will ditch secure objective five because I don't really think I'm getting to them. So at the end of turn one, that gives it three points to the Dark Angels to one for the sisters. Turn, uh, Angus has behind enemy lines, reclaim the le- relic, objective three, and a leap of faith, so perform some miracles, uh, which he's now got five miracle dice in his hand, thanks to his warlord trait, and we'll get one at start of turn. So he might probably be able to get the D3 for that. I'd get if he needs easy. Yeah, to use them, and you'd probably get the other two as well. Uh, I'd run out of actual things to spend. <laughs> There's six phases, so how many do you need to spend? Five. So uh, six or more. That yeah. would be very difficult to do. And you've only got five. Unless yeah, you but I can, gain, I can gain. Okay, so he's probably going to get all three of these cards lately, and he could score well. So uh, this could be a very good turn for him, which I'm going to have to match in my next one, when my reserves can finally come in. Movement phase, turn two for the sisters. The Rhino moving up towards the objective here. The uh, two X's falling back. Battle Sisters sort of disembarking, moving around, Celestine coming up to go some uh, pain yeah. on this. And then he used, uh, Angus used uh, Miracle Dice to advance six towards the squad here. Then the Seraphim came in on my backfield. I was trying to screen them out, but I wanted to try and get in range here to um, kill a character, and that really didn't help. And he's going to play Deadly Descent, which allows them to shoot and extends the range of their pistol weapon. Yeah. Which is annoying because I should have kept a unit of uh, infiltrators back so you couldn't deploy within 12. Yes. That would have helped a lot. So, uh, the mouse pistols, this is doing the movement phase. Actually, oh, sorry, what? who are you firing at? Uh, all of the lieutenant, because I'm trying to okay. Because the lieutenant doesn't have an involved, does he? No, no, the lieutenant has no So, involved. we will supercharge the pistols as well. Okay. So, the mouse pistols, I can't use American dice, because uh, so that's like three hits. Strength eight, so winning on twos. So, that is two, two wins. wins. I'm... Uh, no, no, okay, I, it's mouse pistol, so that should kill him. So it's AP minus four, and you are. I think you probably went into being covered, so six ups. Two six ups coming up. No! no. <laughs> so this is 2d6 for that will be active. Ah, he's dead. I'm pretty sure he's dead. And because I've killed something uh, in a phase, I have yep. a numerical dice. Four, eight, two. Two. Yeah, so four, two. Okay, so Lieutenant is dead, and we've got a bit more shooting to come. Uh, as I was saying, I do have a lot in reserve, but I think the writing's on the wall, maybe. <laughs> we'll see how I get on. But you're going to score big this turn, unfortunately, and we'll see what the rest of the shooting can do. So, we're starting off the shooting phase of Dominion, firing into the infiltrators, and he's going to use Blessed Bolts, which makes everything AP minus 2 and 2 damage. Very effective. Very good for killing Very them. good for killing Primaris. It's just the Storm to get this, but we do a four. <coughs> yep. And they are rolling rapid. So the Storm Bolters hitting on threes, re-rolling ones, that's the Kenness. Nope. And uh, still really too many. Fours. But, ooh, that's not that great. But the sixes are 80 minus three, because of... Uh, yes, because you think so. Two six ups, one dies, and then five ups. Yep. So I don't get any cover. Oh wow! <laughs> that was unexpected. But only two die, but I think you've still got enough firepower there to do a lot of damage. The rest of the shooting, actually, my saves were pretty impressive this turn, but even so, infiltrators were taken out by the combined fire of the three sisters of battle squad over here. Finally taken out by the uh, heavy bot and the intercessors. The, the, sorry, the head bot and the exorcist. The exorcist managed to kill four of the, the intercessors over here, and one of these guys taking out the last one. Then they managed to put a few wounds, sorry, one wound on there. Again, despite losing quite a few people, I made some great saving throws. I think I tanked the boater shots of two squads pretty much. So, could have been worse, could have been better, but um, any charges? No, moving yes. on. No, 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 I'm getting the charge, so I'm playing a CP to allow the modifiers to advance and charge. You're down to how many? Uh, down to five. Down to five. They're going to spell charge on literally everything here. Okay, so we will do the Overwatch and come back to you. The Overwatch fire doing absolutely butt piss. I managed to get a few wins through, but his armor managed to make it. So he needs a five inch charge. He's so going to spend. You know what? No, I'm going to spend the five. Oh, he's going to spend the five, five to guarantee it. Four. 
<laughs> for one, for just as well. And that gives him his three acts of faith this turn. He's not going to get the six, but he will get the three. So he's going to make it in. Fight phase, these guys pile in, getting a ridiculous number of attacks. Getting Because they've got the two flares, they get 15 attacks each, so five base and three per their profile. So that's going to be 15 attacks. I just going to split them all, so those two into them, these two into them. That's going to be <laughs> So, we'll come back with two very dead squads, I imagine. First two into the intercessors. Infiltrators. I don't have infiltrators there. Eliminators. Uh, uh, Eliminators. Uh, whatever. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? <laughs> Getting all the names wrong. It's not my fault that they named every single paragraph. It's true. Uh, Three? Threes, yeah. Are these single damage? Single damage, yes. Oh, it's that's... quite a lot of them, though. AP minus two. I thought it was AP minus one. So, is AP minus two? Uh, one, two, yeah, they're dead. They're dead. So, that is dead eliminators who have done absolutely nothing in their debut game. As expected, uh, the squad died here and he consolidated in. However, not in range to activate the fight against stratagem. So, even though I've lost a lot, they're not really worth that many points at the moment, but, but still still a lot of my units gone. So you will score behind enemy lines, mm -hmm. for one. You will get Reclaim the Relic, for one. And you'll get D3 for Leap of Faith, because you use three, one. So that takes it to four points to three, yep. going into turn two. And I didn't switch my Doctrine, because I've got a lot of heavy weapons coming in, forgot to mention that. So that is four points to three, and we'll come back with my second turn, of which I'm going to have to do a lot to bring these back. So at the start of my turn, I drew Defend 3, Mission Critical Objective 4, and Overwhelming Firepower. 4 is currently controlled, so if I can hold that, I will get the D3. 3 is over here, which I can get to with my Infiltrators, but I'm going to struggle to hold that, quite frankly, uh, and keep them alive long enough, but we'll see. And what we'll do then is we are going to... Uh, I've got 7 CP left, and you know what, I'm going to spend 2, I'm going to spend 2, take them down to 5, and I'm going to ditch defend objective 3, and I get secure objective 6, which is the one there, so no, nah, it's going to be tricky, I must say, but not impossible, so we'll come back with the rest of my movement. Phase, the infiltrator's moving up on the Rhino and the squad coming in from reserve over here. Hoping to make a long charge on it. Most of my reserves coming over here so that I can get overwhelming firepower, hopefully, on this squad. Uh, and that will give me D3 for mission crit, as I'm holding it with my apothecary. Uh, the pulse are coming in over here to help out, just in case I've got enough firepower. And the captain moving up here to do some damage to the squad that's hiding in the ruins there. Hopefully, we shall see if he does any damage to them, which would be nice. So, with that done, we will start with the shooting phase. And we're going to start by putting a ton of firepower into this squad here. We are going to start with the um, Inceptors, firing their Assault Bolters into the mortifiers. mortifiers, the walker unit. So hitting on threes, for some reason I thought these were heavy weapons, but they're not. Hitting on threes, with rerolls from the, that was a hit, I believe, with rerolls, although that's a pretty good roll, from the chapter master. So it's 14 hits, winding on fours, rerolling ones, thanks to our 10 being there. Uh, and that could have gone better, actually. Oh, actually, no, I was lying. Uh, and we rose. Wow. Yeah, from once. I rolled a lot of ones from the ten. So this are four up saves. Uh, I have to roll these one at a time because that one's once that. He's got two wins left, yeah. so yeah. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. He's dead. Six up field, I think. One. Five and one still. Uh, and it is. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know why I rolled two dice. No. Nope. So I'll put another wound onto another one. Yep. Uh, then five ups. Please. Five ups, yeah, five ups. Uh, six, I feel like. Uh, no. Wow. So that was, uh, that four wins on one, one dead, and four wins on another. Yeah, so one's on one wins. Okay. Uh, could have gone better. A lot of decent saves there, but not horrendous. Uh, next up, we will do some more firepower into the squad. So, as you can see, some good firepower over here. The suppressors, the interceptors. The captain and the uh, apothecary all firing in and managed to kill the squad. The uh, suppressors are actually doing surprisingly well and doing some good wins. And going to the rest of my shooting now. So I'm going to spend 2 CP on the stratagem to allow this unit to fire uh, rapid fire 2. And they're going to put all the shots into this battle sister squad here, trying to take them out. So you are ignoring the AP minus 1, annoyingly. Uh, it might be more switching, but I think it's the. Kate's staying in the Doctrine help because it took out them. So hitting on threes, we roll on ones. Uh, just as well. Even so, not great. Uh, not terrible actually. And then winding on threes. Drop one. That is two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven wounds on them. If I get really lucky, I'll wipe the squad. Four of cover, they're fine. Uh, nope, that's two more dead. Two dead. One dead, eleven. So that is uh, three more. Three more. Cool. Yeah, that's still three alive off cover. No, no, no. Okay. Two died. Two died. Yeah. That was uh, not that was worth it. Good. Yeah. Not really worth it. Um. Over here, we will shoot the infiltrators into the rhino. We'll probably put his bolter into the character here, try and kill that off, and then the repressor uh, will repulsor. I'll see what I can do with that. Things go from good in my shooting face to horrendous. The repulsor fired the four last cannon shots, well, twin last cannon, last talent at here. Four hits with the small launchers, one wound on a 3 plus, which he then used a miracle dice to get a 6 up in one save. Everything else fired at Celestine and did what? One wound. Um, after some horrendous, after all four Laz cannons hit, I got like 75% misses with my uh, rest of my shots into Celestine. And he saved quite well. And he saved quite well. So we'll do. Another shot from the uh, captain there, Phobos captain, we'll go into your dial, yeah, whatever that's called. Hits, wounds, two, I believe. Uh, no, it takes three damage. Three. Oh, I'm CP rerolling that then. To a save. To a save. So, because he ignores, uh, yeah, because of the stupid rule, he ignores it. So... After horrendous shooting phase, I do kill one unit for overwhelming, and we'll go into the charges now that I'm going to level uh, for my squads. So the, the plan over here was to charge into the Rhino and wrap it so I could get Defend Objective 3, forgetting that I ditched Defend Objective 3. So that's a good start. But we are going to do the charges. The captain over here is going to charge the squad in the ruins. We cannot overwatch him, I believe. Uh, and I might try a couple of charges on the Seraphim over here. So we are going to start I think with the intercessors. I'm going to spend another CP taking me down to two to get the 3d6 charge on the intercessors into the rhino. One hit. One wound. And it takes a wound. But then I roll uh, that's it. Just <laughs> eight. No, it's not combined. It's not combined. So I have to use a CP reroll if I want to get them in. So unfortunately, I'm using all my CP reroll. All my CP. Yeah, that's a five. I'll, I'll save that. You're right. I'll save that because I don't really need to charge. It was just to keep them safe. So we'll do my rest of my charges. Okay, the infiltrators getting a charge in, the uh, suppressors attempting a charge on them, plasma pistol overcharging, killing one, deciding not to charge on my lieutenant, because uh, quite frankly I don't want to lose them, and I can fall, they can fall back and shoot, so that's fine. We'll do the pylons, do the combat here, my plan is to wrap this rhino, stop it falling back, 
And uh, so at the end of your turn three, I might have one unit left alive. <laughs> we will see. So we'll do the combats and come back to see if I probably not destroying it. Attacks doing absolutely no damage. My cold rolling continues, <laughs> doing no damage in Rhino. Over there, the captain managed me to kill one sister, and uh, after he remembered and made his six up here on pain, and then taking one wound and reply. Um, not well, quite a cold turn, but um, I will score secure objective six. Mission critical, I'll get D3 for two. And I will get overwhelming firepower for one. So that will give me four points, take me to seven points to four, going into turn three. Um. So the draw cards, secure objective three, defend objective four, and secure six, which is going to be difficult. They're all bad. Yeah, they're all bad, because uh, four is over where my librarian is. He's going to have to get some good moves. He could do it, but he needs to survive my turn. Uh, three is currently held by the intercessors, who have got something locked in combat, so they can't be shot off it. And six is over near a lot of my troops, so he might struggle to get that as well. We'll come back and see what Angus decides to do for his movement. Dominion squad moving up on the infiltrators here, as did the cannon S, the uh, squad over the, one of the uh, exits moving to get line of sight, as the Seraphim move up towards the ruins here, and uh, Celestine moving over, and she is, yeah, she's advancing over, and the Dominions disembarking. Uh, no, they just moved up. Oh, who's the Retributors? Retributors, and the cannon S moved up to target my Repressor. Who did absolutely nothing. So we'll see. And the sisters over here are choosing to remain in combat. So we will see. And then our squad moves back. Uh, yes. Yeah. So a squad moving back here to um to get into the ruins. So we will see what's starting the shooting phase. Uh, we're going to start off with the cool and fancy strategy. And they can fire everything at the puzzle. Yep. And I've got a pop strategy on Storm of Retribution. And 12 inches to the range of their multi melters and Ooh. adds one to the damage roll. <laughs> and then they're going to fire everything at the repressor. Yep, that's going to be nasty. So the four multi melters. <coughs> well, three, because you don't suffer the pumps you can be choosing anymore. That's nine. Uh, Rerolling really ones. So that's three hits. hits. Uh, you don't find it suffer the penalty for moving shouldn't? No, no, no. Damn. They now get they now just get that inherently like havoc. So yep. So fours, fours, two wins. At eight minus five. Oh. So one of those is going to do six plus one. And Damn. because we have a smart coming per ice, we can use two per ice in one turn. So that's going to be a total of 14 damage with plus one. Ow! I need to actually check. That is brutal. I need to check how many wins it's got actually. Oh, so it's down to two wins remaining. Um, and I can fire two of the multi again. Yep, so our morning cherubs, I'll lose them to fire two more. That's two hits. That's one wound. That's four, so anything other than one. Yeah, no, one would kill it anyway. That's enough to kill it. Does it blow up? It does not, and eight guys inside. Ow. So the repressor came on, did a single wound on Celestine, and then died like a punk. So a uh, good good debut for that, basically. Not a debut, but good. Uh, but I don't lose any inside, so we'll deploy my intercessors and then see what happens with that. Yeah, good round of shooting there. One exorcist managing to kill the in uh, inceptors. Another exodus firing and killing two of uh, one of the suppressors and the seraphim there finishing it off. Another exorcist and the sister squad firing in at the intercessors here, managing to kill a bunch. Uh, Celestine firing at the inf uh, intercessors there, doing one wound. <laughs> um, I am winning, technically. I'm winning. I'm hoping you're going to stop that. But, um,. Yeah, I have very little left. So charge phase was... Right, so it's just going to be Celestine charging the apothecary. Okay, so the apothecary is going to fire his pistols. So the bolt pistol uh, misses, and the yeah. other one, the reductor, hex. The reductor's at a range. Oh, yeah, it is. Exactly. Okay. 
Or is it three or six? Yeah, it's literally only three inches. Okay, so then that's a shame because that hit and I could do a lot of damage, but uh, we'll do the charge. You don't need much to get in. Uh, no, but I will guarantee it because I've got so many miracle dice. So five inch charge, <laughs> so I'm going to roll a four yep. plus a two. So yeah, so he's going to get in there. So I'm just jumping over there. It's not that I don't trust you, but I'm double checking the apothecary. Not that I'll kill you anyway. But, well, no, because uh, I've had this before. It's like, oh, use the good pistols. Like, ah, oh, mate, it's only three inch range. Yes, it is. It is only three inch. That's a shame. But, you know, sometimes that's enough. <laughs> so, okay. um, so she's going to put all of her attacks. Is that all your charges? Um. Yes. Honestly, yes. Yeah, I don't think you need to charge into no, the infiltrators because no. I can't fall back and do anything. Nope. So uh, she's going to make six attacks. I'm going to guarantee one of those being a hit. Okay. Uh, you, you've got so many American yeah, exactly. you shouldn't use them up. Spare ones. Oh, dear. Wow. That's bad. Um, Just as well you did. I have a strategy which can add to dice rolls to by discarding miracle dice, but unfortunately, ones that always miss, regardless. Yep. So, uh, we're doing on threes. For two. two whole wounds. Wow. At minus three. So two six ups. What's the yeah, damage on these? Two, so, you're gonna live so I'm going to live. He's down to one wound, but he does survive, and he can heal himself next time. Uh, attack. Well, you get no my You get to choose. So you're a rain, uh, Rhino. Oh yes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, right. terrifying. Uh, nice. Nope. Right. Attacks back. So the Primaris Pothy will get five attacks because he was charged. Uh, he doesn't have any combat weapons, so threes. One hit. I'm doing as well as you are. One wound, though. Uh, she is okay. She is good. So that leaves me with uh, surviving the pathway, actually. Yeah. <clears throat> Interestingly enough. Uh, so that's a pretty horrendous first turn. Morale tests. I think I'm good. I don't. I won't fail any because the intercessors lost three, but they will survive because yeah. the sergeant's alive. Um, Pretty good turn. So then your turn, you will score secure objective six. Yep. Do you want to discard anything? I'll discard defender Yeah. Because uh, yeah. yeah. she's no. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we'll come back and see. So at the moment, it's seven points to me to your five now. So I am technically winning, although it doesn't feel like that. <clears throat> Technical. I go for the technicalities, and we'll come back with the objectives I draw for my third turn. We got about some combats. The captain over here killing one of the sisters while they managed to do two wounds on him, annoyingly. Over here, the infiltrators managed to take a wound from the rhino. Uh, and other than that, not much on. So, going into my movement phase, the. So we went from some of Angus's worst draw to some of mine. I draw Defend Objective 4, Secure Objective 5 and Secure Objective 1. Uh, 4 is out in the open here, I'm really going to struggle for that. Uh, 5 is over here, I ain't getting to that. 1 is here, which I'm really going to struggle to get to, uh, even with a good advance on those intercessors. So. Uh, the game's pretty much over, I think. What I'm going to do is try and... Uh, Celestine can come back, can't she? Celestine can come back. She will come back. I uh, don't know if it's worth trying to kill her, but I really don't have much else to do. So, yeah, let's just make a fight of it. I'm not going to get any of these objectives, and I don't really want to waste my last two CP on it. So, we'll come back. Uh, we're in the Tactical Doctrine. Uh, you did move him over, so you do ignore AP minus two uh, yeah, yeah, on him, so that's annoying, because uh, otherwise I would have been doing a lot of damage with them. But we will come back with the... Uh, my movement. Movement phase, the intercessors moving up here. The These guys are staying combat, so I can't really fall back and do much. The captain, the apothecary falling back. The captain moving up on cell scene to fire, and then the lieutenant moving up. I think I'm going to move these intercessors out. The problem being, they've got the assault boaters, so uh, I could fire at you there, but you've got a two up save, which is probably worth it anyway. Which is probably worth it anyway. Um, yeah, so we'll move them up and do some stratagems. Shooting phase, uh, the intercessors here moving up, and I'm going to spend my last two CP, because I think this could be the last time of the game, my last two CP on Volstorm, meaning that uh, I auto-hit with all of my 
attacks there into the retributors. Yeah, yeah. So got it. <laughs> that is 24 hits uh-huh. automatically. Yep. Wounding on threes, mm-hmm. but you will be getting a two up save, unfortunately, because I've got no AP and he's, he would be ignoring it anyway. No, sorry, I am AP minus one, but he's ignoring it thanks to, you know, his things. So wounding on threes. And my dice continue to be super hot. So that's 24, 2, 4, 6, 7 miss. So that is uh, 16 wounds. You should hopefully lose a couple of these. Uh, One, yeah, two. two. Yeah, two dice. So two dice. So not the result I was looking for, but not horrendous either. Uh, we'll do the rest of my shooting, meager that it is, and come back. Rest of my shooting, the captain and the lieutenant putting their firepower into Celestine, causing one wound. Uh, over here, pistols causing a wound there on the rhino, and the bolt rifles from these guys causing, killing one of the sisters, and then a bolt pistol from the uh, captain in combat hits, doesn't wound. So, no joy there. Oh! No, I thought I had the apothecary guy over. Oh, and the apothecary healed himself a wound, which I forgot about. So we'll move on to the assault phase. We are going to charge the intercessor squad into the retributors. So I really don't have much else to do. And over here, we're going to charge the captain into the... Uh, Chelsea. Mm-hmm. And over here, we'll charge the intercessor into the... Uh, uh, that's yep. No hits. No hits, but you reroll the one. Nope. Nope. Turn a crack grenades. Nope. Nope. Then I've got three guns with bolt guns there. One. One wound and minus one. And I'm fine. So I get to charge. Yep, seven's enough. The captain going into Celestine. Five, two, force to win, sorry. One wound. Minus one. Saved. And he goes seven. That's enough again. And then the intercessors over there. What? One wound. Who's this? There's two symbols. Oh, there's two alive. Oh, I thought there was only one. One wound. One wound. No, he's good, and they go, yeah, they get in, so I'll move my chargers and come back to you with the fight phase. Fight phase, we are going to start with the intercessors, um, in case you heroic the intervene. So, hitting on threes. Again, pretty cold, pretty cold dice. Yeah, that's not great. Winding on threes, there's two in there. Winding on threes. That's better. That is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve wounds from the intercessors. No AP. Three ups. Ooh. And then six, I feel no pain. And no five dead. Five die. That's not too shabby, actually. Oh, and a heroic intervention from the cannon S going in there. But killing five. Are you spending. I'm not going to interrupt. Not going to interrupt. So we'll then okay. do. No, 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 I'm okay if you kill Celestine now. Okay, we will do the intercessors on the other side now. I should have paid to get them veteran intercessors, I completely forgot about that. Yeah. I'll do that next time. So, attacks from the intercessors on the far side. Threes. Uh, nice. And then threes. That is two, four, six wounds on the intercessors and the sisters in the far squad. Two. Yeah, they're dead. And what I'll do is I'll pile in towards the uh, objective and hopefully tag one of your uh, things. We'll need to measure up for that. And then the Gravis Captain, next. Captain Gravis Armour, six attacks hitting on threes. Yep, all hit. Wounding on twos. Oh, that's unfortunate. Four wounds, AP minus three. Four Two go through, and that's D3 damage each. That is four wounds. So just to press to the end of the phase. Do you not get your six up? No, not at least the five seven. Ah. So she will get back at the end of the phase. Yep, so I do kill her though. And we will do the attacks back now, off camera. 
So the pylons here, managing to wrap the cannon S there and pile into the exorcist, did no damage. Squad over here, having the distance to pile into the exorcist here, again did no damage. The Phobos captain in the ruins here actually managing to kill uh, two of the sisters. So the Phobos cat in the ruins here actually managed to kill two of the sisters for no wounds in reply. You have some morale tests now to uh, take. They can't fail, but I'm going to get a miracle. Nope. nope. Uh, they will fail. That's the wrong one. I got loads of miracle dice. Uh, so he's going to use a miracle dice to keep the, them alive, but I have got them wrapped in combat, so you can't shoot me. Over here, the rhino taking one more wound from the... Uh, and the infiltrators doing no damage. So at the end of my turn, I will get secure objective one, taking me up to eight points, and I will ditch defend objective four, um, leaving me with secure objective five, which is highly unlikely, but maybe. So at the end of the turn, uh, that takes to eight points to five for the actually in a better position than I thought. That unit's going to be safe from fire. Uh, yeah, but she can fire a relic rock this in first combat. That's fine. That's okay. I'm all happy with that. Celestine actually managed to uh, come back, but she died once, so she'll die again, like a punk. <coughs> and tagging two of the exorcists for the moment. Uh, so, yeah, things looking a bit better than they were a minute ago. And we'll go into Angus's turn four. So in Angus's fourth turn, I am going to activate the Assault Doctrine uh, to get my bonuses. He drew Supremacy and Defend 5, which he's sitting on at the moment, which is quite nice, uh, and Secure Objective 3, which he can possibly get. Well, oh, you don't have any other troops. Okay, so he's probably, he might get Supremacy, maybe. Yeah, so he might be able to get Supremacy. Uh, he's not getting three, and he will get defend five probably in my turn. So bringing back up the points depends what I've got left and what I can draw. So we'll come back to you with his movement phase decisions. End of the movement phase. The retributors falling back into the rhino. Seraphim moving up on the captain over here. Uh, the exorcist falling back. You want to fall back the other one? Uh, no, no, the other one I want to remain in contact. Okay. And then the uh, other exorcist moving up to target the Phobos captain as the other cowardly sister fell back, although she held out for a while. And this squad moving out to target the Phobos captain as well, while this squad of Dominion move up on my two guys over here. So I may have some units left at the end of this turn, we'll see. What's shooting? What's starting with the shooting? We'll start off with the exorcist firing into the Phobos captain. Yep, exorcist into the Phobos captain. So I'm going to use my one of my last CP to ignore the penalty for moving and shooting heavy weapons. Yep, so he's spending a CP to ignore the penalty for moving and shooting heavy weapons, and he's firing in at so the captain. the exorcist missile launcher for lots of shots. Seven? Uh, yes. Shots. These are good now. These are yeah, really they, good. They, they be paid for the notes. Now. Uh, this one's moved out of reroll range because yep. I'm an idiot. Uh, and Two? Yes, yeah, so that's three wounds at AP minus three. AP minus three, I have a one up cover save. Mm -hmm. So that'll be, be four, four ups. Yeah. yeah. So I need to make all, all of these. Or he's probably dead. And I feel all of them, so he's dead. Doesn't matter. Three wounds left. Yeah, I think so. He's taking three, so he doesn't have more than six. So he's dead. Uh, and we will see what the rest of the shooting can do for the sisters. I'm going to fire everything into the chapter master, the melter pistols, getting two hits and two wounds. I need my four up in ones. Seeing as I didn't make any of the others, it would be nice to make some of these. I do. I make both. Supercharged blaster pistol. Yep. Hits. Wounds. Four up save. Again. And I make it again. Crack grenades. This is Parabolic Pistols. One hit. No, no wins. Really. Wow. Good. Good set of fire from there. Celestine and him. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> two shots. Fours. Uh, two one wins. Hat. Minus two. Minus Doesn't two. matter. Four ups. <laughs> takes one. Gets six up funeral pain. Nope. He takes one wound to start with. And he has, I think, seven to start with because he's got the iron resolve. And we'll do the rest of the firepower and come back with what I have. 
rest of the shooting phase, the Cannon S actually managed to kill quite a few of these guys with their relic bolter. These guys managed to wipe out the assessors over there and uh, Firepower only doing a single win. So Celestine is going to charge the captain. I think she's in regardless, but Overwatch, uh, that is no hits in Overwatch. I should have saved those two CP to fight him from the death, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm doing all right so far. Uh, any other charges? Um, yeah, we'll start get, getting tangled in with the. Uh, yeah, so the sisters over here, so Dominion, are going to charge the infiltrators. Five inches using Miracle Dice yep. plus D6 for 11. 11 Definitely getting in there. Which is good because I'll get to swing at you rather than uh, just a rhino. Oh, uh, I mean, we're just going to hang around this is, the sides. This is where I miss the white scars. The ability yeah. to fall. Oh! I have a stratagem I could fall back and shoot, which I've just remembered. That would have been really useful uh, earlier, but there we go. So we're going like that. Yeah, so they are charging in, that'll be the last charge. So we're going to combat Celestine. So Celestine, um, once again I'll guarantee a hit roll. Uh, <laughs> oh no, actually no, I'll guarantee a wound roll on that actually. Okay. So uh, six hits, so, no, so that's five hits. Toughness five. Toughness five, so I'll guarantee a wound and then roll four dice. Yeah. Yeah, oh uh, wow. <laughs> And that is not a save. Two damage. Two damage. I get my six up, feel no pains. I take one. So he only takes one wound. And we'll do the rest of the combat. So the Dominion and the Intercessors. And come back to you with the attacks from the Captain. Rest of the combat. Intercessors doing uh, three wounds on the Cannon S. Taking them down to two. The Phobos Captain actually managed to take two wounds uh, on Celestine, but then a double one for damage. So she is alive. Over here, Infiltrator's not managing to do anything to there. And doing a couple of wounds on the Rhino, I think, with my AP minus one. And at the end of your turn, you will score uh, Supremacy for D3. D3. Two. And you start a defending five. And he's discarding. So that will take you to seven points to eight. Going into my fourth turn. We'll see what I can bring back from this. My turn four, I drew Big Game Hunter and Secure Three. Um, I already had Secure Five. Three I'm getting, because I'm currently holding it. Uh, five's not an option. Big Game is going to be difficult, unless I can somehow take those last five wounds from that. Unfortunately, I'm not doing the two damage, unless I charge. So what I'm going to do is move my remaining few units and see what I can do. So with very little left, it's not in combat. Um, the lieutenant and the apothecary moving up on the seraphim. Uh, shooting phase. We'll start with a pistol going into Celestine from the captain, our chapter master. That is three hits and. Uh, we roll the one because it's left into three wounds at AP minus one because I'm in the assault doctrine. Takes another wound. Takes another wound. That's not too shabby. The uh, apothecary will fire. Finally, fire at this uh, <laughs> the seraphim. So the bolt. That was a one. So we roll misses and the reductor pistol. One. Hits. And wins, AP minus three. Uh, yeah, but we do get a four pin bomb because we're hanging out this summer scene. Ah, is that shit? Ah, yeah, because I have a four pin bomb. Yep. <laughs> and I will fire my bolt rifle in at the, them as well. One hit. One wins, no AP. Uh, so it'll be uh, three up then. And no, kill one. Six, no, nope. kill one. We'll do some bolt pistols from the rest of the squads and come back to you with that. Pistols failing to do any damage to the cannoness or anything, so attacks. We're going to charge the 
Oh, we'll charge the lieutenant in because he's got more wins. <laughs> lieutenant will charge into the seraphim. <laughs> no, no. So, uh, four mounts of pistols. <laughs> One in the hat. Is he within three inches? I don't no, believe so. So, but however, he only has five wounds, right? I think so. Something like that. I'm afraid that's going to be five damage on it, though. Well, you need to roll a wound first. Oh, yeah, sure. Good point. Sorry. Oh, no! no! Oh, no, no, so, no. And he fails uh, to win. That's hubris. That is hubris. Uh, right there. Charge charged past the pistol. No. Nope. And then a uh, pair of bottles. Oh, no, crack Nope. No. Nope. Uh, wow, that was incredible. Oh, lucky on my butt. <laughs> that was your hubris. <laughs> your hubris cost you that. <laughs> yep. So, char- do my charges. The lieutenant is in, and the apothecary is in as well. So, they're going to charge the seraphim there. So, the lieutenant will attack first, getting six attacks, doing any sixes to additional hits. Wow, and a reroll. Nope, so that is an extra three hits. It's my very own Death of the False Emperor. Threes to wounds. Rerolling ones from self. So that is two, four, six, seven AP minus one. We ignore okay. so three ups. That is four doing two damage a piece. So if you make any of these, if you make any of these, then you re roll one. No, so it kills them. Wow, that was fortunate. And the apothecary's just sitting in the wind there. For my next attack, I will go to. Ooh. Yeah, we'll go with the captain because I don't want Celestine killing him. So that's five attacks. Hitting on threes, re-rolling two because he's a chapter master and he can do that, doesn't matter. Wounding on twos, four wounds. Four wounds, I'm going to roll three of these. Uh, um, yeah, and then I'm going to guarantee the last one with a five up, so one goes through, so... And okay. Three. Two. Uh, two. Uh, two. She lives. That's right. <clears throat> I should have charged Celestine with the Apothecary, but I did not, so that is fine. And then you get slit. we'll come back with the rest of the attacks, and if anything happens. Rest of the combats, my intercessors for once failing to do anything to the Rhino, and suffering no damage in reply. The intercessors managing to kill the Cannoness, doing okay there. Uh, and then Celestine struck at the captain. Three wounds, I failed two saves, and didn't make any funeral pains, he's down to one remaining. Uh, so at the end of my turn, I will score Secure Objective 3, taking it to 8 points to 7, and then Angus will score Defend Objective 5, taking it to 9 points to 8. Uh, oh, sorry, 9 points to 9, um, resulting in a draw going into turn 4, and I will discard Secure Objective 5, because I'm no way getting to that. So, uh, Angus drew Secure Objective 2, Armour of Contempt. Just make an invulnerable save. Make an invulnerable save. And, and Psychological Warfare, make me feel more out So, he ain't getting them. So, I was going to call the game there, but depending on what I draw, if the game ends on turn 5, I could win this. Yeah. Huzzah! Uh, so, Objective 2 is here, which my intercessor is currently sitting on, but he can fall back and blast them, but I don't think he can secure it. Maybe. 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 I'm to get that right the table, maybe. And yeah, and then I've got my Warlord, and he'd probably get Warlord this turn. Well, it depends if Celestine can kill him. If Celestine can kill him. So, we will come back with his movement phase. End of the movement phase, Rhino moving up for Linebreaker, the Repressor's getting out beforehand, staying there. Cannoness and Weird Guy, whose name I can't remember. Moving up, the extras falling back, and then the rest moving on to the objective. So, plan is to kill the intercessors, get that objective. So, we're starting shooting with. Uh, we'll start with one of the exorcists. We will start the shooting phase with the exorcist and at the intercessors. Whoa! It's so, uh, wow, we take out the buildings. Yeah, heavy bolter. Uh, not rerolling anything. Nope. Uh, we, uh, one wound, minus one. One wound, minus one. And I feel so kills one. And then the Exodus Missile Launcher for seven shots. Seven shots. Uh, All ones and twos. Uh, yeah, a few twos. And then two to wind. Two to wind. So, yeah, that's all right. AP minus three. So that's five. At AP minus three. 
And they are four. Well, yeah, unless you're all terrible. Uh, yeah, so kill, kill one, one kill, kill two, one, and kill three. Also. That is the unit dead. <laughs> miracle dice. Yes, yeah, so he, he got two miracle dice at the start of the and got double, double one. Yes. Which will come in really handy for all those morale tests you yeah, won't yeah, have to take anymore. Um, and then shooting the rich boosts will fire everything. Oh, I forgot to fall back Celestine. Do you want to do that? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, we can fall back Celestine. All she's going to do is just like fall back so she can shoot the captain. Yep. Um, Try and take his last win. Oh, I thought you were going to do it in glorious combat, you coward. Well, no, I've got multi monsters to do that. So the multi monsters at the captain. Uh, one hit. One wound. Can he make his far perform? So. He can! Okay. Alright, uh, one Balter. Five to win. No win. And then Sonocene and Sonocene Flamer. Oh, that might do it. Six shots. Um, Force to win. Oh, yeah, Force to win. Uh, I'll guarantee one of them being a wound. Yep. Uh, so that's. Yeah, so that is. Three wounds. AP minus one, so yep. four ups. This is where I make them all. Big money, big money. And I make them all! You should have killed me when you had the chance, Charles! Yeah, I got the rhino. We do have the rhino. One wound on the rhino if a rhino takes him out. No, he can't, can't move. No, that's a five. He survives. He survives. I cannot leave him shooting with anything else, sadly. No, no, nothing. My intercessors are stop. Sorry, my infiltrators are stopping you from firing at them. Yep. And so that's your shooting phase done. Yeah, I'm going to fire a million bolt pistols in close combat, which I forgot about. Or like eight, <laughs> nine, nine, not a million. It's quite a lot of bolt pistols. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, oh, no. That's, uh, yikes. Uh, well, nothing. Are, no, no, nothing. Nothing at all. So, charge phase? Uh, the, I, I can't because I'll see the lack. And I'm not going to charge them into you because they're trying to get it. That's fine. So, we'll go quickly to the combat phase yep, over so here. I'll fight with the girls first. Yep. So, uh, I uh, 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 two two wounds. Two wounds. Takes one wound. And at the end of your turn, you will score. Uh, oh, no, security, so. Yep, at the end of your turn, you'll score secure two. Uh, taking it discard cycle. Discard cycle, taking it 10 points to nine, going into my turn five. Turn summary, I drew Assassinate, Secure 3, and I had Big Game Hunter, which was good for me. Uh, Captain fired at Celestine, killing her with his bolt uh, gauntlet. Then I fired in at the repressors, and Angus was able to use one of his uh, CP, uh, sorry, one of his miracle dice to get his objective, which was uh, Armor of Contempt. I then fired in more pistols here, doing no damage. Did two wounds, take it down to three, and then charge down, killing the repressors. So I will score secure objective three and assassinate for two points, bringing it up to 11 points to Angus and 12 to me, I believe. And I will hold on to Big Game Hunter for the moment. So, so if the game ends now, Angus will get Linebreaker and it will be a draw. So, you, you roll. Well, this is a lot. Yeah, nope. game the game will continue, uh, which will probably be a very quick end game. Oh Turn 6, Angus Drew, Big Game Hunter, Mission Critical Objective 6 and Defend Objective 2. Turn Summary, he moved his units up here. Uh, to get line of sight on me, moved one back to get the objective. In the shooting phase, the exorcist fired at the captain, managing to kill one. Uh, sorry, first exorcist managed to take him down to a wound, second exorcist managed to kill him, and then the third exorcist fired at the apothecary and managing to take him out. So he will score one point for Warlord and one point for Mission Critical Objective, taking him up to 13 points to my 12, going into my turn six. Summary for my turn six, I drew Big Game Hunter, Priority Orders Received, Secure 2 and Secure Objective 6. 
my lieutenant moved up uh, and then charged the rhino doing a couple of wins to it and then the intercessors managing to finish it off to get me big game hunter so at the end of turn six it will be uh, 13 points to 13 and uh, Angus scores defend objective 2 taking it to 15 points to 13 and he also get line breaker so we'll call the game there because there's no way we're running out of time and there's no way for me to get back to that so thanks Angus for a fun game uh, what closer than I thought it was going to be after your first couple of turns but that stupid repulsor when I get my impulsors painted up uh, sorry for the shaky cam because my gimbal just died on the final turns but yeah these uh very slowly, these uh, infiltrators, very slowly chipping away at this rhino, did some good. So what I'll probably do is maybe film some after-battle reports, because we need to get tidied up now at the club. After-battle thoughts. And hope you enjoyed that. Hope you could hear it. Bye. <laughs>